Abraham Lincoln's birthplace is located in the heart of Kentucky. This park is one of several National Historic Sites located throughout Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois. Abraham was born in this log cabin, which was built by his father Thomas Lincoln in 1808 on a farm called Sinking Spring near Hodgenville, Kentucky. The land cost only $200 for the 348-acre plot. A replica of the cabin is now located on top of the 56 stairs to the memorial building, which represent all 56 years of his life. The Lincoln Cabin is a perfect example of a late 1800s frontiers dwelling. Walls 18 feet by 16 feet surrounded the dirt floor and had only one window and one door. Thomas Lincoln constructed the cabin with oak trees and clay. A simple fireplace, shingled roof, and chimney are a stark contrast in comfort compared to our modern dwellings. The Lincoln family relied on the natural spring brook located just in front of the memorial building to provide fresh water. When Abraham was eight years old, his father lost the title to their land, which forced the Lincoln family to move to Indiana. Throughout Abraham's childhood, he witnessed how slavery was dividing the country. Little did he know this passion for a man to not be judged by the color of his skin, but by the character within, is going to be an historical milestone in the American Revolution. The soldiers in the war were very young, since the average lifespan was only 30 years of age at the time. Battles were fought with hand-loaded muskets and cannon, making the battles long and driven by tactics instead of overpowering might. July 1st to July 3rd of 1863, around the small town of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the Confederates lost 28,000 out of 75,000 of their soldiers, and the Union casualties were 23,000 out of 88,000. This battleground was later dedicated as a national cemetery by President Lincoln on November 19, 1863. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, we're engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as the final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be here dedicated to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion. And that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. 
On January 1, 1863, President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation that declared forever free those slaves within the Confederacy. Thank you for watching this Adventure Crew video of Abraham Lincoln, bringing the adventure to you.